At around 10.30 a.m. on June 24, 2023, the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call from a distressed 15-year-old female stating that her mother had just stabbed her two-year-old sister and had chased her four-year-old brother around the house with the same knife. A couple of officers had been patrolling the local area close by to the property on Blue Stem Court in Albion, Michigan, and so they responded to the scene within moments. Now that you know back on the line, she's advising that her mother has just killed her sister. We're trying to get her at her. Excuse me. She's advising her there's a knife involved. We're still trying to get her there. It looks like the mother has stabbed her sister. We're trying to get further. We don't know where she's at. We're out. County unit in front of me is going to be the one on the right, right there with the door ajar. Dispatch 2706. I got a child with a stab wound in the chest. I need medical priority one. I'm clear, stab wound to the chest. Wake up, baby. Stand up. The mother was drowning it in the bathtub when we found it. Baby, come on. You alright? There you go. That's my joystick. Baby's starting to cry. Claire, baby's starting to cry. Come on, What's honey. Come on, honey. Wake up, baby. I don't know, it's not bad. 2706. I got no not much active bleeding from the injury. It's below the throat. Come on, She's honey. moaning. Keep them coming, party one. Come on, honey. They're coming. Party Keep waiting for us, all right? Keep waiting. Thank you, Andrew. There you go, eyes are open. Good girl, yeah. Keep breathing, honey. You got two. 
Two. All right, I got one. Actively bleeding again. She's still crying. Can you advise it's just under the neck? It's going to be at the bottom of the throat. When officers arrived at the scene, they sprung straight into action. Multiple children's lives were potentially on the line. This whole situation proved to be worse than first thought though. A quick scan of the house led officers to a locked room where a baby was seemingly crying. They proceeded to kick the door in and were met with a horrific scene. The mother of the house, 35-year-old Jessica Edward Ricks, had allegedly been drowning her two-year-old daughter who had just been stabbed moments before. The responding officers would grab her from Jessica and administered CPR. As you've just witnessed, it proved successful. She thankfully survived. But it wasn't just the officers who saved the two-year-old girl's life and potentially the other children in the house. You see, the 15-year-old teen had not just only alerted authorities to the events that were unfolding in front of her eyes. She had wrestled with her mum to remove the knife from her hands. I was in my bedroom when out of nowhere my two-year-old and eight-year-old siblings ran in. The two-year-old was covered in blood. I went into my mom's room and noticed that she was chasing my four-year-old brother with the knife she had just stabbed my two-year-old sister with. My four-year-old brother went under the bed and my mom was attempting to go after him. I had to protect my brother and so I fought my mom for the knife. During the scuffle, she attempted to stab me. When the fight was over, she grabbed my two-year-old sister and locked herself in the bathroom with her. I asked why did she stab her and why did you lock yourself in the bathroom? She replied that she needed to fix her. There was nothing I could do at that point so I grabbed the rest of my siblings and got them out of the house. We ran to the neighbours then I called 911. Jessica would go on to be arrested and charged with two counts of assault with intent to murder, two counts of first degree child abuse and two counts of second degree child abuse. At a court hearing on the 27th of June 2023, she was granted bond at $500,000 and was ordered to undergo a mental health assessment. If she does end up finding a way out of jail on bail, she isn't allowed to have contact with the two children she is accused of assaulting and isn't allowed any unsupervised contact with the other two. She faces life if she's found guilty on the charges that are placed against her. And I could barely make anything out of what they were saying and I just automatically, I was like, is it your mom? Was it the boyfriend? What happened? And they were like, no, he's gone. And they were like, she did it, she did it. It was traumatizing. You can't even explain like the feeling, like I said, like horrific, like just bloody screams. 